here tonight as we get set for the heavyweight title fight. My name is Kenny Deuce Garden. I fight out of American Top Team in the United States of America. Tonight, I'm going to beat Ruben Village, whatever his name is, and take his whole head off. tonight, Jens. Yeah, I'd be flipping a quarter, though, on who gets to go out first, who gets to go out second, because right now, someone's sitting over here freezing their butt off, waiting for the other fighter to get out there. Who was that? Prince Nassim Ahmed, the old boxer. Everybody used to complain because he would come out second, and he did such a showcase. The guy standing in the ring for about five and a half, six minutes, he got nothing to do but cool down, you know? So they yeah. used to always say, you need to speed that up. That's kind of as much show and as great as this is. They should be letting Garner he's sitting over here just in a pair of shorts, give him a jacket or something, you know? Here but comes the current M1 heavyweight champion, Garam Guggenesvili. But again, it's still cool. I like this one. A little more drummy, you know? I like it. Better yet, though, I like this fight. That's what I'm waiting for. Well, they're all about the spectacle and entertainment here in Russia. The walkouts have been spectacular. And so have the fights. Yeah, hey, I know another place that was like that. It's called Pride, and I love it, and I miss it. I like this. This is a show. Like I said, the only thing they can do is let him keep his sweatshirt on a little longer before he goes into the cage. Let's do it, you know? I mean, again, it's the crowd, you know? They got to enjoy it. You got to have a show. And they've always taken a page from Pride. Who didn't love those theatrics? Oh, my goodness what most MMA fans, besides the epic battles in the pride ring, miss, though, is the incredible theatrics that that promotion would put on with their ring entrances and the way that they introduce the fighters. Absolutely. I miss Genki Sudo. <laughs> the reigning M1 heavyweight champion has entered the ring. Is a pony. 
it stands across the ring to my right and bites out of the red corner. He stands 197 centimeters, 6 feet 5 inches tall. His official weight 114.6 kilograms, 252 and one half pounds. His professional record perfect at 11 and 0, fighting out of Tbilisi, Georgia. I like Your it. That's a good one. Marco Brewer, son. Well, the height advantage definitely goes to Gurum Gugenishvili, and that was a key in the first fight, gents. Absolutely. So does youth. So does a win over the guy he's fighting. You know, but that was, yeah, because unless he can land one of these overhands, Garner, that's what he needs to do is go out there, throw the bombs. Like I said, he needs to rest in different spots. Don't put your head in the guy's stomach, press him against the fence, and not know that he's going to go after a guillotine. Guggenish Billy welcomes in Garner with a front kick, and we are set to go. The M1 heavyweight title is on the line, and Guggenish Billy takes Kenny Garner down to the mat. Yeah, he's, you know, he's got a good job with one foot in, but he's already in the half guard. Last time, Guggenish Billy messed around with the stand-up. This time, he's not messing Trans around at all. He's not trying to get away with that rear naked choke. But transitioning to has his back, trying to sink in the RNC. Kenny Garner is in a lot of trouble here. Yeah, a lot of trouble early. But Guggenish Billy is really trying to force this in there right now. Continues to work on the rear naked choke. This is not the place where Kenny Garner wants his fight to be. Trying to escape. Guggenish Billy continues to tighten that RNC. He needs to hip him down, buck him down right there, and go ahead and get that, get that position. And he go pops out. Good reversal right Huge there. escape and reversal by Kenny Garner. Now he finds himself on top. Oh, is he from half guard? Oh, okay, I thought, wait, is he key locking? But, yeah, I mean, th obviously this started out real fast right here, so it's gonna see who can take a deep breath and start to grab control of this fight. Scheduled for five, five minute rounds. M1 heavyweight division. Talking to Garner, he said he learned a lot from that defeat at the hands of Guggenish Billy. He's a different fighter. There's a good battle for guard and half guard right there. Garner seems to win that one, didn't let him get it. Somebody's been learning. You know what? They were in this spot almost to the T before. And about right there. The two big men reversing. And now, Guggenish really had Garner in a standing guillotine. He gets Owen, dives that in. That just happened. And I believe he is hurt. Kenny oh, Garner. out of shape. He did tired. He just shot himself right, he just shot face down. And Kenny Garner will allow Guggenish really to stand up. Marco Burson, our referee, says, get up, big man. Misses with a lunge and falls to the ground. And now Kenny Garner lands a nice shot to the side of the head. I'm going to tell you right now, Kenny Garner worked on the things that got him beat last time. Right. Conditioning and the grappling and the ground. Someone else that hasn't worked on too much. I think he's stuck, he's stuck right where the last fight was. Forgot about improvement. Garner's won five straight. Since that loss to Guggenis Vili, did not expect to see Garner the one initiating the fight on the ground. He is going after it. And he is working hard on 
that left arm. And he's doing a good job of listening, trying to keep the elbow, get the elbow in close. What you gotta do when you paint the brush, man, you paint the fence, you gotta lift the brush up, you gotta put that hand flat. Gents, what does Guggenish really need to do to get out of this predicament? Well, he's obviously gotta try and turn the position. Right now, it's, he's not in any bad position. That arm isn't gonna hurt it, you know? So he's just gotta start changing his hips and not end up, not end up in a mountain five seconds, side mountain, you know? But he's not putting his hand on his hips. I think, like you said, he blew his, he's tired after that second punch. I mean, when you throw a punch and fall face first, like you said, he had to have been hurt, but the only thing that was hurt is his conditioning. Garner using that weight to hold Guggenish Billy on the ground. Continues to work out of half guard. Yeah, somebody really wanted this, wanted their, uh, get that rematch and, and make the most of that, you know, the loss the first time. Right. Congrats to Garner, man. He's doing a great job right now. But he was really trying to get that one. Trying to get the same guillotine that he got him in before. Garner's corner pleading with the fighter to watch the sweep from Guggenich, really. Here, so come some big shots now from Garner, raining down. And that's Night gonna and wrap difference. up round number one. Night and day difference for Garner. Kenny Garner said he was a different fighter and, and so far he is showing that tonight. Absolutely, an activity. Yes, he fought, very he put three or four fights together and I mean, taking a couple of months, you know I mean? He was ripping them off, so yep. ring presence. It doesn't help when your guy, when Guggen is really the champ, is so tired. I, I can't even see, he can't even sit on a stool. Look at him. They take a look no at pain. the highlights. There no was hit. no that shot hit. there. He just missed, whiffed, and fell down. Hi, I'm the champion and going and down. I, don't even, I didn't even jog one time. I throw a punch and I fall. And Garner makes him pay for it. The strike to the side of the head. Yeah, we'll see how much Guggenish Billy has left in the gas tank he because don't. it's just for Garner to hold on right now because Guggenish Billy's done. He is bent over. And you're the champ. Sorry, y'all. This kind of sickens me, and I got to, I mean, you're the champ. Man, have some pride in yourself. Go jog at least. Round number two between the champion, Guram Guggenish Billy, and the, cha and the interim champion, excuse me, Kenny Garner. Low kick there from Guggenish Billy. Oh. And there's a big shot. Wow. Garner goes down. Just misses with an overhand right. The two big men teeing off now. Low kick by Guggenish Billy. Yeah, he's got by it. Garner. He crippled that. He, he's crippled that leg, but he's also tired. Good job of climbing over the top. Kenny needs to hip down more and use that wizard, but now he's going to get up. And now Billy on the back of Kenny Garner. We saw it in the first round. Going for a rear naked choke like again. Not, now he's got his chin this down. This one again is tight. Garner escaped once in the first round. Can he do it again? He's got his chin down. This is just uncomfortable right now, but no win. He's got to make sure he doesn't get underneath it. And He's... Garner escapes again. Yeah. Impressive. Now imagine if you're squeezing that much on it. Now look, he's tired. That, that lactic acid is taking over that anaerobic side of it. Your, your hands go numb, your arms are burning. That's what happens. That's why they tell you, don't waste your, your strength and energy on a choke that's not there. Garner now from half guard, where he was most of the first round, too. Two key escapes by the American Top Team product. And this is the guy known as a KO specialist with six of his 10 wins coming right. by way of knockout. Yeah, I'm saying they kind of switched roles this time a little bit. It was Guggen is really trying to uh, keep the stand up a little bit.
Kenny Garner inside Yelling control. Paint it. Attacking the arm of Guggenishvili. This is really Guggenishvili's world with 10 of his wins coming by way of submission. I'm telling you, roles reversed. Hey. Approaching two minutes and 30 seconds here in round number two, scheduled for five, as the M1 heavyweight title is on the line. Kenny Garner on top. I'm a little surprised he's not trying to mount up more and drop I'd like those hammer more hits. More damage, yeah. Definitely throw more shots. You, your opponent is utterly tired and soon to be defenseless. Might as well rip, sit up and just rip on him. Thirty-nine years old, Kenny Garner. Fourteen years older than the young Guggenesvili. The young, dead, tired, getting ridden like a torn-up pony by a 39-year-old. Congratulations, Garner. That's what I'm saying. Say it's obvious somebody wanted it. And getting beat up ringside by the former UFC lightweight champion, Jens Culver. Uh, he, look at he's trying to he's trying to pin that arm down. This is the one that we really call Matt Hughes. I remember he did it a few times. The big right. brother with the iron cross, where they lay on one arm and Almost pin the other one. Almost a crucifix position. Yep. I hope he gets this, because he keeps trying hard for this key lock. And I, I mean, you just got to paint the fence, keep the head tight. Well, People always make a mistake, and they want to take it up towards the head. It's actually the exact opposite. You want to take it down the body more, and then hand flat and just lift up the elbow. Garner lets go the key lock but continues to keep Guggenishvili on his back. Transitions to half guard. Yeah, if Kenny would do that right side. now, he's there. Just start throwing punches, make the guy panic. Oh, nice Good knee knees. to the knee, uh, to the rib cage. Just don't let the guy rest. I mean, he literally just tried to take a, he's trying to take a whole round off. This five, these are five, five minutes. And with under 30 seconds to go, referee Marco Burson restarts our fighters. And Guggenish really is just even slow getting up. Wide open mouth. Garner misses with a right hook. Lazy jab, Guggenish Billy. Big right from Garner. Misses wild shot as we wrap up round number two. All Kenny Garner so far in this one. We'll see what he can do with those leg kicks. I mean, is this five five minute rounds? Yes. Did somebody not tell the champ that this is five five minute rounds? I'm serious. He can't even make it three. Take a look at the champion. Pretty much sprawled out in the red corner. Yeah, the thump you just heard was not a stool. It was his butt sl <laughs> slamming down. I mean, it's just shocking. You're the champ. You're, you're supposed to be in a 25-minute fight. Well, we take a look at some of the action here in the second round. Yeah, Putin's having a look. He's like, what's happening? Now, what's you know, happening to our champion? Yeah, the only thing was, obviously, he did land some big kicks. Yes. You know, but here, if Kenny would just, what he needs to do is just throw more punches and stop trying to go for that key lock all day and start landing, just, man, just beat him up. Round number three, scheduled for five for this M1 heavyweight title fight. A rematch between Garam Guggenishvili in the white and Kenny Garner in the gray. We approach the third round, two big men. See who's got the cardio to last and maybe go five rounds. You know, Garner, Jens, is really bouncing around and moving as he yeah. goes in. Yeah, he's feeling a lot better. I mean, he's definitely, look, he's got a lot more movement. I mean, Guggenis really shouldn't even throw a punch. He's just gonna, like he did, he fell down. So, there's a good knee, though. Kenny, what Kenny's got to do is smarten up with the energy that he does have and learn how to close this off properly. Google is Billy landing with the knees and the two are exchanging in the corner. 
And Guggenich Billy takes Kenny Garner down. Nice takedown and follows it up with a right. And we have not seen we go. Rahm in this position yet, working from guard. Garner has shown that his ground game has greatly and vastly improved. Absolutely. But we have not seen him on his back yet in this fight. Kunis really is so tired, he just bent his own arm with that shot. He, like, punched downward, but his elbow went. I don't know why he's not passing the guard. Nobody wants to improve their position around here. Posturing up. Holding Kenny Garner down. Transitions a half guard. Here we go, full mount. Full mount by Guggenich Billy. Kenny Garner in some trouble. Can he get out of this? With three minutes left to go in the third round. Guggenich Billy raining down punches. Oh! He tried to buck him off. The crowd is feeling the tide change. And oh, Garner again. transitions, but goes right into an arm bar. Guggenich Billy trying to end this fight. Man, Kenny does not want to give this up. He does not want to give this up right now. Garner in a lot of trouble. But he doesn't look like he's in a lot of pain. No, he looks very calm. Holding on. I can't. A shot there by Garner as he pops out. Another submission escape from Kenny Garner. Now it's up to Kenny, it's short time, two minutes left. He's gotta steal that round back. You know, he's gonna, he's gotta push him. Guggenich really is, he's done. This is, he just wants nap time. Well, that's Throw him a soda, give him a blanket, he wants, to, he wants nap time. But Kenny is just not able to put enough in there to just put it away. They're both a little tired, you know what I mean? They're, they're too tired. I don't even see a four and a five. I don't even know how this possibly will be a four and a five. I mean, he's just doing him a favor by going for a key lock that he doesn't know what he's doing. I'm not a, a, understanding the move there. Oh, yeah, no elbows. No, that's right. Right. Here just in, in case Russia, you're all at home, five rings. Throw an elbow. No there elbows. No elbows. That's where he should start to go to work. Absolutely. Garner delivering knees to the open And here's the biggest cage. reason why. They heard him probably not. Point scoring. Let's go for a 10-8. The guy's laying here dusty. Remember, you're trying to make, you're trying to make up for a half run he lost. Look busy. Those little knee shots, hey, I know they ain't going to hurt you, but let's get some points. With Guggenich really falling out of the ring, Marco Brewerson will reset them. That is if Guggenich really can even get into the middle of the ring. This is incredible. Yellow yeah. card has Take been... Take knee pads off is what I'll be saying. Has been given to Garam Guggenich really the champion. Good knee, good knee, good hit. Garner right has hand. Guggenich really in the there corner. It's going to town. Yeah. Big uppercut lands. Guggenich really is hurt. Kenny Garner looking to end this fight. He's got it. He's so close. Right there. He's teeing off. Fence. Kenny Garner's feeling it. And the only thing Guggenich really could do was shoot in for a single leg, and he does. Garner going to work, but the round ends. He, still, he took the round back. He took the round back, no doubt. Swelling, and the arm. Big swelling. Big the swelling eye. under the arm. This is unbelievable. Kenny Garner just sat on his chair and broke it in his corner. Right now we got, we got, people are heavy. That's what it is. I mean, we got, they're having a hard time changing their level right now. Look at that. In a matter of 10 seconds, we got a different face. Kenny Garner landed some Big time shots. There's a huge welt under the left arm of uh, the eye of the champion, Garam Guggenitz Billy. Right up, right up. 
And we may have a doctor come in and check this out. Yeah, but did Kenny Garner use up everything he has? He is sitting with his mouth open in the corner, breathing extremely hard as the blood begins to trickle down the face of the champion. Now we just need to figure out who worked on their recovery, who ran their sprints, Here's who did their long road work. Take a look at some of the action. And this is where Kenny Garner really began to land huge shots at uppercut, followed by the left hook going to town on Guggenesvili, who somehow was able to dive in for a single leg. Watch this, there's a left hook and right a there. big right hook. I think that's, that was the sweller. Who is going to have enough here in the gas tank left to finish this fight? I mean, the way I see right now, Garner, he's one more spurt away from this guy calling it quits. Done. He needs to just look across at how beat up his opponent is and allow that to motivate you. You're about to be the champ, the M1 champion. The guy's sitting there dead. You just got to figure out how you're going to suck it up. Man, one more burst. And that is all. My man called it quits. Referee Marco Burson calls an end to this fight as the champion, Garam Guggenesvili, fails to answer the bell. And we have a new M1 heavyweight champion. What a win for Kenny Garner. Jens, I am extremely impressed with that performance. He showed that he has evolved. His ground game has come a long way since we last saw him. And he dominated the champion, Garam Guggenesvili. Absolutely. Who walks backstage. You can tell that he worked on it. He wanted to fix the problems that weakness. And you can tell the champion didn't work on anything. He credited his loss in the first fight to Guggenesvili as motivation. He yeah. said he became a different fighter. Yeah. He trained harder. Yes. And actually, you know, a lot of it times proved. you hear it that. It worked. That you, you know lose a fight yeah. and, and you gain from it. And that's what he said. Losing that fight wasn't a bad thing. Now he needs to take that. He needs to take a lesson from there and a lesson from the man oh. who just walked away. Conditioning. Get some running in. Because now people are going to be gunning for him. And the last thing you want to do is be as helpless and as tired as that man was. Let's make it official. Here's ring announcer Mike Markham. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a doctor's stoppage. Your winner and undisputed M1 heavyweight champion. Kenny Garner has the new belt. He is the reigning M1 heavyweight champion. It's Vadim Finkelstein hands him the hardware. What an impressive performance by the 39-year-old American Top Team product. Shaking hands with Russian President Vladimir Putin. What an incredible scene. <laughs> and the president Very cool. bonds with Very the new cool. champion, Kenny Garner. <laughs> what an impressive victory. And it would have been interesting if the doctor did not stop that fight to see if, if Garner still had enough cardio to continue that fight. And, and dominate, and he really did. I mean, he was in trouble, Jens, twice. Yeah. The submission specialist, Garam Guggenesvili. 
looked to end the fight several times, but Kenny Garner was able to escape. Rode it out. Take a look at some of the action. Yeah, that was beautiful. Right there, I mean, big shots from Kenny Garner. You knew in the beginning, I mean, this is the man who threw a punch and fell face first. And then once he had him stuck in the corner, Garner went to work and was dropping some bombs. Yeah, he did a good job, you know, just trying to melt him. And I mean, it's just who wanted it more. And that's basically what that boiled down to. What a big night for American top team, as we have seen both <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Monson and Kenny Garner get huge wins tonight. Garner, the new M1 heavyweight champion, getting props from the Russian.